Hello, welcome back to MF Woodshop. Today we're going to turn this contractor saw into a more of a cabinet saw. Want to see how I do it? Stay tuned. A couple of reasons I want to do that is A, dust collection. As you can see under here, I got a lot of dust under there. That's even with dust collection hooked up. I still get dust down there. And with the contractor saw, there's just almost no way to avoid it. Uh, so with the cabinet saw, that will help. The other reason is leveling. I bought some nice leveling feet to, uh, to actually level the whole saw to the floor. My garage floor slopes down this way, so that will help as well. Um, and it also gives me an excuse to build a new outfeed table, which I probably will do. Let's get started. All right, I wanted a four by fours, but the lumber yard was uh, didn't have any and quite honestly they were just being awfully rude today so I just grabbed a couple 2x4s and I'll make my own 48 inch pair of 2x4s gluing up. The plywoods that I've cut these are 16 by 22 and those are 14 by 22 and um, right now they're the width is uh, oversized but the length is uh, where it needs to be. Uh, I can't do the width until my 4x4s get done dry and glue, so I'm pretty much done today. All right, so I got the 2x4s into a 4x4, four four. not quite, but I did end up with 2 and 7 8 square. I was aiming for 3, so not too far off, and I'm okay with that. Uh, I just have to adjust some measurements before I uh, commit to them, but uh, they're cleaned up pretty well. They look pretty good. I think I can live with that. So I'm going to cut a groove. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm going to cut a rabbit out of two corners and then uh, the plywood will join into that rabbit and that's essentially how I'm going to make the boxes. So I got the rabbits in the 4x4s and I cut the panels for the front and back of this box and now I just kind of roughly laid it out so I can figure out how big the sides are going to be and I got a measurement on that. My table saw set up so I just need to cut two of these panels down to that size. Sixteen and a half, damn it. All right, so I got the dimensions I was looking for, which is 20 inches by uh, 16 and 11 sixteenths, this way. And it's looking pretty good. It's going to go eat, go together pretty easily with uh, glue. I'll probably put a few screws in there as well, just for some extra support, considering what it's going to be supporting. And also, I'm going to double up the layer of the plywood 
So on each of these panels, I will have another panel right like this. And then that'll create a dado on this side as well. And then I'll slip that in all at the same time and glue it together. All right, so I got all six, nope. I got all eight pieces of plywood. I got four for the outside. And then I got these um, ones on the center as well. It's gonna create a really good glue joint. It's gonna give me some extra support to uh, screw the leveling feet in. The reason I use the uh, four by fours is so I can round them off to match the uh, saw itself. So the uh, sharp corners over here, they're gonna be rounded off all the way down on all four sides. So there's what we're looking at. We're ready for a glue up. Alright, so I got this slanted piece in there, fits really well, uh, just screwed in from the sides to hold it in place and I uh, put glue in there as well. Uh, so the dust in there should fall down on this, fall down into here. The only downside is I forgot to sand this to make it super smooth. I wanted to sand it and wax it so the dust would fall down more, but I forgot. Oh well, so feels pretty good, nice and solid, certainly good enough for dust. All right, so off camera, I, uh, I just did all this off camera. I just sanded the whole thing down to 220. I patched all the holes and nicks and dings and uh, put uh, two coats of uh, Kills interior primer on it and it's uh, it's looking pretty good. So next thing to do is get it to the final collar which I'm about to do now. Although this paint went on really, really well, and I think it's gonna be okay with one coat, uh, just a tip, if you want to uh, keep this in good shape, just throw this in a uh, Ziploc bag. Seal it up best you can. You're not gonna get it perfect unless your bag's big enough. And then uh, put this in the refrigerator. Tomorrow or next time you wanna come out and double check, see if you need a second coat, that's ready to go.
take the wheel off before you mount these. I learned the hard way because I've stripped out a bolt over there. But, hey, live and learn, I guess. Alright, I think that's where I'm going to leave this video off. I got the base built, I got it installed, I got leveling feet on there, I got wheels on there. Uh, the base is working out great. Uh, everything's level, um, just what I wanted. It feels more solid. I've already made one cut just to see if I feel a difference, and I definitely feel a difference. Uh, the other base was just a little wobbly for me, but this one is uh, definitely more stable and I feel that in the cut. Um, so I'm gonna leave the video off here. I'm gonna come back on another video. I'm gonna do some other stuff on the back end of this table saw. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the outfeed table yet. I may just cut it down a little smaller, but I may just throw it back on there. I don't know yet. So I'll come back on a second video and then uh, wrap this particular project up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.